read the Bible with me. Blessings don't usually come from when good things are happening. Like if I found five dollars, but I had five thousand dollars in my pocket, I'll pick it up and be like, all right, that's cool. But if I was completely broke and my baby needed milk and I found five dollars, then it's a blessing. So in this story, Abraham lives in Canaan, but technically he's kind of like a stranger because he don't own any land there. But God is gonna put him in a position to buy a cave and some land attached to it. He's gonna pay 400 shekels for it. That's the currency that they use still today, but he's buying it to bury Sarah, his wife who just passed away. Yeah, that's the burden. Unfortunately, Sarah dies at age 127. So he asked Ephron, a Hittite, if he could purchase his land slash cave and properly bury his wife and all of his future descendants. Ephron just offered to give it to Abraham. Because keep in mind, Abraham was kind of like a superstar. He was a hero. He had won against that kingpin. So people admire him. They respect him. And he, Ephron just wanted to give it to him. But Abraham was a smart man because he knew that if he purchased it in front of all of the Hittites, then by law, he would own some land in Canaan. And so ain't it crazy that this is how eventually Abraham is going to own all of Canaan at some point. But this big blessing where God promised him that his descendants is going to own all of it, it started with a burden. So we always want the blessings, but we don't want the burdens. Burdens are going to come to everybody. But the difference with being a believer is if you don't believe in God, you're going to get the burdens only, but you won't get the blessings attached to it.